Hi everyone, this is Chicho. Welcome to my channel. Now, as I promised, um, I mentioned I was going to show you more of my collection of some of the things that I have around with me, especially books. Um, so during the move process and opening up boxes and stuff like this, I came across some of the boxes that I had some of my uh, science fiction fantasy books and some of the books that have found their way to me, right? I've inherited uh, and I've added to my collection. And um, I want to show you um, this collection. And I know there's other books that I have, but they're in random boxes spread out. And uh, it's going to take me a while to get to them. But this is the main chunk. Okay. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to give you sort of, because people have been asking me to do some reviews and recommendations as well, or additional reviews and recommendations. So I'm going to... Um, sort of tell you what I've read from this collection. I sort of pulled them out. I'm not sure if you can see it through the flat screen in 3D, but uh, I've pulled out uh, the books uh, in these three racks, uh, in these three shelves, right? Um, three levels that I've read. And I'll let you know, you know, and these are mainly the ones that I've kept with me because, um, you know, there are books that I've read, sci-fi, fantasy books, and other books that I've read over the years that uh you know they were loaned out lent out um i loaned them out to people or during moves they got lost or i just got rid of them right there's only so much i can carry with me from one move to another right um but there is some other ones that i do have and these are the ones that i've found that i've read so i'm going to give you a uh, sort of review and recommendation all of these are would be recommendations except for one one of them uh it still keeps on coming with me for some reason even though uh, i stopped reading it about a quarter of the way through because I wasn't it wasn't grabbing me right so most of these are going to be reviews um, or the ones that I'm that I've read anyway they're going to be recommendations and then there's a whole bunch of books here that I haven't read right um, and I've been itching to read more science fiction fantasy books and um, you know, I have, you know, I flipped through some, I picked up some, and I keep on putting them back. Uh, but I do want to have a nice sci-fi fantasy read um, coming into the summer, right? Especially for, you know, going to the park or going to the beach or something like this. Maybe a single book or a trilogy or a whole series of books, right? So I'm going to show you the rest of the books I have here. And uh, if you have recommendations, uh, please let me know, okay? And... Um, I did when I did an update video uh, a couple of videos ago I guess uh, I mentioned that I was going to put this video together and some people have already uh, given recommendations on the other video uh, and I'll read you those ones as well okay um, before I start showing you the other books and um, if you were following my work you'll know that uh, I'm a comic book collector. I don't know if I'm a huge comic book collector, but I've been collecting for a long time. I go through periods where I collect a lot and I don't collect a lot and I read a lot and I don't read a lot, right? And um, people have been asking me to um, show you some of my graphic novel uh, collection because some of the other videos we've made, there's been some graphic novels in the background and stuff, right? And I grabbed a handful of graphic novels. So before we get into the science fiction fantasy stuff, I'm going to show you um, just a handful of the graphic novels that I grabbed, that I have. And these are the, um, the mo almost all of the science fiction, well, they're not actually because of superhero comic books. Uh, a lot of them are just basically sci-fi, right? But these are sort of more science fiction fantasy sword and sorcery graphic novels that i want to show you and i don't have a huge graphic novel collection i have a nice size singles collection and that's what i mainly collect i usually uh, like collecting the singles and then every now and then i buy graphic novels something catches my eye to read all the way through good reading if i'm traveling and stuff like this in one book format you can grab it and go right um, so I've read a lot of science fiction and fantasy through comic books, right? And one of the ones, uh, the video previous to this, we did, uh, I showed you guys, uh, my Savage Sword of Conan collection, right? And these are, uh, like, amazing. If you like fantasy sword and sorcery, uh, 
you know, wizards, demons, and whatnot. Um, Savage Sword of Conan, there's nothing like it, right? Uh, but what I want to do is um, show you, uh, just before we get into this stuff, I'm going to show you the sort of the comic books that I grabbed or the graphic novels that I grabbed. And again, keep in mind that most of my collection comic books is in singles. So majority of sci-fi fantasy reads that I've done in comic book format um, is in singles, okay? So there's a lot that I haven't, uh, you know, I can't show you guys. Um, one of the ones, of course, being that, you know, we did, uh, you know, one of the most amazing comic book companies that has ever been was one of the early ones from the uh, golden age of comics, EC Comics. And we already did three readings of, um, of EC Comics Weird Science Fantasy, right? So if you want to get a feel for uh, how science fiction stories are told in comic book format, then, you know, take a look at those videos and they'll give you a really amazing feel of what science fiction is like uh, coming to you in comic book format. And one of the reasons that, uh, not one of the reasons, but um, when I started this whole comic book reading videos that I did initially, I guess, I don't know, two, three years ago or so, the first comic book I believe we started off with uh, was Eye of Doom by uh, uh, Marv uh, Wolfman, right? Uh, and that was an amazing science fiction read, right? And uh, there's a few other ones, I guess, in science fiction we've done comic book reading. So if you want to take a look at them. Uh, but as far as what I have in my graphic novel collection um, that I've read, um, there's science fiction that I can highly recommend. Uh, one of them is Snowpiercer. Okay. It's a French graphic novel, and this is the English translation. And I came across this... Um, after I bought this uh, online, after watching the movie, and I really, really liked the movie. Uh, some people didn't like it, but I thought it was one of the most brilliant, dystopian, post-apocalyptic movies uh, ever put out. And it's a fantastic movie if you want to watch it. And this is the comic book, uh, Snowpiercer. This is volume one. Oops. And this is volume two. Okay. Highly recommend it if you like dystopian, post-apocalyptic uh, movies and comic books. Okay. Um, on, on the, I guess, golden age front, again, we've read, you know, weird science fantasy, um, from EC comics. We've read three of them and, um, we've talked about Jack Kirby and we're going to be doing, um, either the reading for new gods or, uh, forever people. Number one from Jack Kirby and Jack Kirby is one of the most, prolific, uh, amazing comic book creators uh, ever, right? And he, his imagination was mind-boggling, right? And he did amazing science fiction, mixing it with folklore and stuff like this. So Jack Kirby, for sure, check out if you, you know, if you like science fiction uh, stories, especially in comic book format. Uh, but another one, another person that did amazing work when it comes to came to science fiction and comic books uh, was Wally Wood. Yes, 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 right. And this is a sort of a graphic novel I picked up compilation. Um, I actually have this one, uh, Weird Science. Uh, this is one of the ones I have framed up, right. And we read again. We read three Weird Science fantasy. Uh, well, went through three of them, two of them annuals, one of them a single, right? And we read some stories from those. Uh, but Wally Wood is absolutely brilliant. And let me show you, just to give you a feel for, uh, you know, just brilliant. <laughs> like, take a look at this. So Wally Wood is absolutely brilliant. Uh, and again, if you like science fiction fantasy, the golden age of comics is, is absolutely amazing. Uh, let me show you these. Uh, 
and again, I, you know, I show you the singles, the Conan, but the Savage Sword of Conan. Uh, I love reading Savage Sword of Conan. There's so much. And we, ha we actually have, when we went through the covers, I actually have this one. Uh, we looked at the cover of this one. I forget what number this is, right? Uh, the single of this, right? Fantastic cover. I love this cover, right? Sword and Sorcery. And um, this is volume... You know, I showed you guys in the video volume one uh, of Conan the Barbarian, different than Savage Sword of Conan, right? Different series. Savage Sword of Conan is more mature, and Conan the Barbarian in comic book format is uh, more censored uh, because it's, you have to abide by the comic code, right? But Savage Sword of Conan in magazine format is more adult oriented. So if you like sci fi fantasy, for sure, that's uh, where you want to be. Uh, Savage Sword of Conan. Uh, let me show you these one, uh, two, two graphic novels that I recently picked up. And let me show you this one as well, actually, before we get to these. Uh, Margaret Wise and Tracy Hickman. And this is, uh, you know, Dragonlass Chronicles. And these two combinations, these two authors, fantastic stuff that they've written. And one of the books uh, series that I'm going to recommend is from them. Uh, but I haven't read the Dragon Mass uh, novels, and I do have a huge collection here, right? Uh, but I, you know, I did read through this. It was good. Um, what? Which one is this one? I don't know. This is part two, uh, Dragon Mass Chronicles, Dragon Mass of Spring, uh, Dawning, part two. Um, and I, you know, I don't know if I have number one. I have another one on the shelf, right? Um, and let me show you these last two graphic novels that I grabbed. One of them I picked up recently and <laughs> I flipped through it. He-Man and the Masters of the Universe, right? Fantastic science fiction, fantastic science fiction, right? And this is the newspaper comic strips, the whole thing put together in one volume, right? Whoever decided to do this, Thank you. Okay. I'm not sure if this is the first time this came up from Dark Horse Comics. Okay. And here's the table of contents. And what it is, is... <laughs> Check this out. It's the dailies and then the Sunday. Right? So I don't know how many years this goes through. Again. Oh, I don't want to damage it. The dailies here and the Sunday issue, which is in color here, right? So, if you like a fun read, uh, uh, I flip through this, it's fun. Uh, at some point, I'll sit down and I'm going to use the little marker this thing comes with it. So, I'm going to, I haven't read this far yet, I've only you know, read a handful of them. So, I'm going to start off and read and read and read and read, right? Uh, and the back, the description of this is. For over 14 years, Masters of the Universe had its own newspaper comic strip for 14 years, right? This story continued the tales from the filmation cartoon and bridged the saga to the space-themed New Adventures of He-Man cartoon relaunch. So it's sort of filling in the gap, right? It's sort of like the Samurai Jack comic books that came out, filling in the gap from season one, two, three, four, and with the fifth season that just started, right? Uh, the comic strip only ran in selected newspapers and was never reprinted. So most fans have never read it, right? Until now, Dark Horse brings you the first collection of these strips restored and ready for you to unleash the power. Awesome. And uh, let me show you this one too. And this is something that I picked up uh, I guess last year in 2016 I still haven't cracked it open yet and this is a volume one of the Meta Baron okay I know no volume two the lights are reflected I know volume two is out there and this is uh, Alexandro Jodo I can't pronounce the name Jodorowsky Alexandro Jodorowsky and he's a master sci-fi storyteller right an amazing art absolutely amazing art okay so this is still in this casing um, 
I usually sometimes I buy stuff I should not sometimes a lot of times I buy stuff that I want to read that it's sort of a reminder for myself right so I put it on my bookshelf if I end up reading it right away I read it right away if not I know it's there and I sometimes I go on my bookshelf and I scan the books to see what I want to read right and you know if I'm hungry for a certain type of story I grab and I start reading it so it's it's nice to have access to those things right and this is one of the reasons I have all these collections because I haven't read everything right uh, but there are things that I want to read now let's um, let me show you or let me tell you what I've read out of this these three three racks here uh, and um, all of them almost all of them are going to be recommendations okay now this book and I've pulled them out that way I know those are the ones I sort of scanned it uh, this is one of the first um, sci-fi books that I read that stuck with me um, and I read this during high school and actually let me let me tell you of uh, three of the other ones that I've read um, that they're in a box somewhere I hope they're in a box somewhere I, hopefully I didn't get rid of them uh, because I've done moves this is during I read these during my university years okay so uh, just so I don't forget to mention these it's uh, in here I pulled out you know Chronicles of Narnia by C.S. Lewis and I haven't read it I skimmed I read a little bit but I, it didn't grab me at the time right and just so you know C.S. Lewis is probably the author that I've read the most I don't know why it just happened right I loved the way he told stories and his logic and his reasoning his wording so I've read a lot of C.S. Lewis I don't know how many books I've read of C.S. Lewis but I've read a fair bit um, and his essays his essays are absolutely brilliant and when I found out that he had written science fiction book a trilogy I picked it up during during my university years and I read them and they were fantastic um, and they're not here so I'm just gonna mention these but the space trilogy by c.s lewis there's three books um, out of the silent planet perlandra and that hideous strength and they came out in 1938 1943 1945. Uh, for me i actually end up reading the hideous strength before the other two so after I read it, his strength, I was like, okay, what's going on? Not what's going on, but it was sort of disconnected from the rest. But there was a hidden story there, so I went back and read the first two. And it's a fantastic, fantastic read. Okay, so that's one series, one set of comic books that are um, uh, science fiction books that I've read that I, I highly recommend. They're fantastic. Uh, and at some point, I do want to reread them again. Um, another book that I read and this is probably the one of the first science fiction books that I read that stuck with me and I read this in high school and I kept this is the, this is the one that I read uh, The Andromeda Strain okay. fantastic it, it, it was a really good read and uh, who's the author with this Michael Crichton um, I don't think I've read anything from him again um, but this really stuck with me and uh, there is a movie out on this the Andromeda strain and it's a fantastic science fiction movie if you want to read it uh, if you want to watch it okay uh, but the book is I highly recommend the book I don't know which one I you know if I saw the movie first or I read the book first but um, this one is fantastic okay let's put that one back let me show you these guys okay this is uh i believe this is a five book set uh, hopefully it's not seven i think i have all of them and it's by jack chalker okay and it's uh, the well of souls okay midnight at the uh, let me show, i don't know i forget which order they go in but Midnight at the Well of Souls. Uh, Exiles at the Well of Souls. I 
think Twilight is the last one, but um, Quest for the Well of Souls, uh, The Return of Nathan, Brazen, Brazen, and Twilight of the Well of Souls by Jack Chalk. I remember talking with a friend of mine and um, and he's a huge sci-fi fantasy uh, connoisseur and he's, he's pretty big in the sci-fi world and comic book world and stuff like this um, he was in the gaming and he's huge in the gaming world as well he, he, he was one of the pioneers uh, of magic the gathering right and there was a time where our paths crossed for a few years and we kept in touch and stuff like this and um so he you know and I, at the time i had these on the bookshelf and he scanned my bookshelf he goes what you read the well of souls i said yeah yeah i read it and he goes what did you think about it and my comment was i loved it i loved it until the last half of the last book until four and a half books i hated the ending and he's like <laughs> he couldn't believe it he's like what are you talking about how could you i'm not i don't want to give too many spoilers away um it's a fantastic series really it's stuck with me i'd like to read it again and i'll read the ending again but i'm not gonna like it again <laughs> okay so it's a great great series um i pulled out narnia just so i could remember to um to tell you about C.S. Lewis, the trilogy, okay? Um, of course, of course, I've read The Hobbit, right? And I read The Hobbit after Lord of the Rings, and I've read, of course, of course, <laughs> it's like trash. This is a series that I read, and I read this, and let me tell you the story of how I ended up reading this. I came out of high school not reading too many books the books they offered in class um for us to read just didn't <laughs> interest me very much right and you didn't get to choose at the time i don't know if you get to choose now or not um so i came out of high school and i went to university right after high school and i wasn't interested so i took a break and i went and worked at a gas station in the graveyard shift right the reason i got the job at a gas station at a graveyard shift so i would start at 11 p.m <laughs> work till 7 a.m right and the reason i did that was because i wanted to read lord of the rings and i was i am a very slow reader back then i was even slower than i am now way slower right so during my downtimes i read the lord of the rings and this is the one these three are the ones that I read during that time, okay? Uh, it took me a long time to read it. It took me a few months to read it, to finish it. Book two was extremely difficult to get through. Oh my God, so difficult, so difficult. Uh, but highly recommend it, of course. Lord of the Rings, right? And uh, and I'll show you these ones as well. Um, these are a couple of uh, a couple of compilations or follow-ups to Lord of the Rings and uh, The Hobbit. Here's a uh, Journey of Frodo. Right? I bought this. Uh, it's got maps and stuff. I'm pretty sure I bought this one. I guess. Right? It's fun. I've gone through this whole thing. I've read this whole thing. And I got this one as a gift. Or, or it could have been both of them together as a gift. And the person that gave me the gift this is the a to z of token and i've read through this whole dictionary <laughs> it's sort of the you know tells you yeah who they are and gives you a description it's a, it was a great read i don't know why i just immersed myself and i just kept on reading it and the person that gave me this and i think both possibly is the person that all of these uh, science fiction fantasy books belong to that have found their way to me okay um so if you like this thing it just sit down and read you know page at a time or a little excerpt at a time it was really fun okay now 
let me show you oh yeah this uh if you're a science fiction fan fantasy fan well fantasy no but science fiction uh if you haven't read dune yet uh whatever you're reading finish it and go read dune okay must read by frank herbert okay. a must read by frank herbert this is the only Dune that I've read. I have one of the other ones here, and I'm, I've been seriously thinking about picking that one up and reading it. But um, i got to make sure it's the second one in the series, okay? And, okay, let me show you this one. This is a book that uh, was recommended to me at university. And uh, I picked it up after... And I picked this up after reading C.S. Lewis. I was talking with someone, a friend that was a science fiction fantasy fan. And I told him I read the C.S. Lewis one and he didn't know about it. But he said, oh, I recommend this. The Summer Tree by Guy Gav Gavriel K. Okay. I got to not even a third of it. I got to about there. I put it down. It didn't intrigue me. Okay. Uh, I might not have gone far enough into it. If you think this is good, uh, I'm willing to give it another try. Okay. I don't know why I've kept it. Maybe there's a reason why I've kept it. And let me show you the last. Let me show you this. <laughs> <laughs> this is my favorite above Lord of the Rings. Mm. This is fantasy. Okay, so Dune, my favorite science fiction read is Dune. Okay. My favorite fantasy read is The Death Gate Cycle by Margaret Wise Wies, I'm not sure how you pronounce it, and Tracy Hickman. Uh, I forget which order they go in. And my friend that actually, uh, I talked to him about the Well of Souls. He uh, he got me a couple of the books signed. I don't think these are the ones. I think the, the stuff that I have signed is actually in another box somewhere. Um, but this series is absolutely brilliant. Here's the hardcover of the, the hand of chaos <laughs> and i got the paperback as well uh, i'm not sure why i have both i think the hardcover sometimes comes out first if i recall correctly and then they release the paperback so as they're coming out you know you grab the hardcover comes out first maybe i'm not sure hand of chaos and there's seven books in this series i believe i hope so anyway let me show you this one too. Uh, seven. There we go. Have, is this the one? Seven, okay. Oh, that's the seventh game. I'm going to show you that one. Yeah. Um, a fire sea. Dragon wing. Oh, there's two of them. This is the one that's got two. We've got two paperback. I think one of them I was reading it, and the other one. Uh, the original owner of this collection, right? So we were reading this at the same time. We, we couldn't share, we couldn't wait, right? Uh, the Serpent Mage. Uh, and Chaos, I showed you that one. Into the Labyrinth. Actually, I think this is the one. Uh, seventh Gate, right? into the labyrinth fantastic series i really love this my my wish uh, is my uh, uh, desire uh, where i would be ecstatic beyond belief right would be if this thing was turned into a movie seven movies preferably right 
uh, I would love, love to see the death gate cycle on the big screen. Love it, right? I would drop everything. Uh, okay, fantastic. I cannot recommend that that highly enough. Okay, for me anyway. Now, let me. Is that it? And I do have some other books as well, uh, but I can't remember what they are. They've been in boxes for a long time, so. Um, maybe if there's a lot more you know there's gaps here there's another shelf here i know i have at least one more row like this somewhere okay uh so if i do come across and there's anything really stand standing out i can't recall right now i'll definitely let you guys know um as far as the other books let me show you what else there is here uh i don't know anything about them there is um and before I show you these ones, let me read you, um, because in an update video, a couple of videos before this, I mentioned I was going to do this video, that I was going to ask for um, recommendations, right? And um, uh, there are some people that recommended some books on the other video, uh, and I'm just going to write, you know, mention these, that way I know uh, what they are, so I don't have to chase down the comments again, so everything is in one place. And I looked up these ones, and they looked, they all looked fantastic, right? Uh, they all looked like they would be amazing reads. But, you know, it would be nice for me to at least read some more of this stuff. But if you guys think these ones uh, are superior to some of the stuff I have here, or they're must-reads before some of the stuff here, because it's not really about superiority, it's about, you know, what would intrigue you, what would interest you. Um, these are the recommendations I've had so far uh, from the other video, and they looked really good. Uh, one of them was uh, The Book of the New Sun. I didn't write down who they are, so sorry about that. But uh, The Book of the New Sun, Thrawn Trilogy, right? Thrawn Trilogy is the, the Star Wars one I believe I have here, actually. Okay. Uh, so The Book of the New Sun, Thrawn Trilogy. The Name of the Wind, that looked really cool. Disc World, that looked really cool. Altered Carbon, the more I think about this name, the more it really intrigues me. And this looked crazy. Uh, Bio of a Space Tyrant, <laughs> right? That looked really, uh, looked really interesting, right? Um, and someone else recommended dragon lance and I have a whole bunch of dragon lances here Okay, and I'll show you those ones as well. So those are the recommendations we have so far one two three four five six seven Okay, and these are the other books that I have so let me pull some of these down Okay, Maybe we'll go through this fast because there's a few of them uh, so if there's anything you think I'd be you know, if you've watched my videos or you you think is amazing that you would highly recommend the way I recommended the ones that I've read so far uh, to you guys. And I recommend all of the ones that I've read so far. And if you know, you know, you think Summer Tree is worth a uh, second glance, please let me know. Um, so these are books. This is one I have without the cover on it. The Last True Elf. Okay, sorry, no cover. Stephen, Stephen King, Four Past Midnight. Fairy Tale, Raymond E. Feist. Feist. Raymond E. Feist again. The Darkness at Setha. Sethanon, the darkness of Sethanon. Raymond E. Feist, Silverthorn. <sighs> Ursula K. Lugin. The Left Hand of Darkness. Uh, 
a Dungeons and Dragon game, an endless guestbook number two, Mountain of Mirrors, uh, by Rose es es Estes. This is like looks like a really quick read. Might be fun. Maybe a quick read though. Here's another one, Dungeon of Dread, book one. So that's book two. This is book one. This might be nice fairy read it's got a lot of imagery in there too oh i've been meaning to read this for a long time william gibson burning chrome i got one conan paperback <laughs> i've read a lot of conan Love Conan. I've actually never read a Conan paperback story by Roger E. Moore. Well, if I end up reading a Conan story, it's going to be by Robert E. Howard, right? Uh, King's Dragon, Kate Elliott. I don't know much about this or anything about this, really. So that's a bunch there. C.S. Lewis, The Lion, which, and I have a couple of singles here as well. What have I got? The Lion, The Witch, and The Wardrobe. I only have two of the singles, so if it is going to be a read, it would be The Chronicles of Narnia, the full edition. The Last Battle, The Last Battle. One animation that I love, absolutely love, Winnie the Pooh. The origin of Winnie the Pooh is pretty cool. Canadian, Winnipeg, Winnie, Winnipeg, right? Uh, the Deed of Parksonarian, The Deed of Parksonarian, Elizabeth Moon. Looks like a nice heavy read. Up there. Let's put these guys back. There's a whole bunch of books here for Forgotten Realms. Let me show you which ones I got. Um, I don't know if this is a whole series, same characters or different. I don't know. Uh, edited by, who are they written by? It's got the edited by on there, but I'll show you these ones, just give you the names. Realms on the Under. Realms of the Underdark. Shadow of Doom. Elmister, the making of a mage. Crown of Fire. Ed Greenwood. Science fiction fantasy covers are absolutely brilliant, right? Let's check out this one. What's this one? Uh, Forgotten Realms, Siege of Darkness, but R.A. Salvatore. Okay. 
jacket, the dust jacket is on it, the graphic. And uh, Passage to Dawn, again, R.A. Salvatore. Cool. So that's one row. Let's see if we can check out the next row. Market wise, Tracy Hickman, uh, the Dark Sword trilogy. There's a trilogy, so hopefully, I got the rest of them in there on the shelf somewhere. Gotta put them in order. And this one's called um, uh, Forging the Dark Sword. So, this is volume one. Cool. Forging. Forging the Dark Sword. So, maybe we just got volume one here. Uh, Game of Thrones, George R. R. Martin. I haven't read any Game of Thrones stuff. I don't know how many books there are in the series. I haven't read this. I don't know why. I think I skimmed through it. The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Dal God Galaxy, Douglas Adams. I think there's a whole series of these out. Uh, Raymond Feist, I should put that with the top stuff. Magician, Magician's Apprentice. I'm gonna put this on the side and put it with the top stuff. Raymond Feist, Shadow of a Dark Queen. Cool. Yeah. We. Crane translation by Maria Ginsburg, the most influential sci-fi classic of the century, We, by Evgeny Zmaitin. I'm guessing this is Russian. Here's the author's name. Russian sci-fi would be cool. That's the name, We. I don't know about this. This guy goes there. Um, the Dungeons of Dragnor. Rondi Velot. Rondi Velot. Dungeons of Drags. Dungeons of what? Dragnor. Dungeons of Dragnor. Let me organize these. Let me put these with the. The same author, right? That's sort of good organizing. again magician's master i want to put that up top you can tell i haven't organized this like well i did one round of organizing but that was it raymond feist rise of merchant prince i think i might be reading a raymond feist book there's a reason why there's so many of them so this goes let me put this so this goes in the shelf there Volume 2 of the Crown of Stars. Kate Elliott, Prince of Prince of Dogs. Volume 2, so I must have volume 1 here or in a box somewhere. Dune Messiah by Frank Herbert. This would be a great read as well. Let's put this here so we know what's gonna go with Dune. 
Island of Lizards, Ian Irvingston's Island of Wizards. Tales of Known Space, The Universe of Larry Naveen. Hmm, I think this is more science. The next 10,000 years. Could be science fiction, could be science. 13 Dazzling Journeys into a Future History by the author of Ringworld. No, science fiction. Future. Futurist, maybe. Anne Rice, Interview with a Vampire. Shadow Maze. Mark and Julia, Julia Smith. Goes with the Let's go with Okay, so that was the second row. Hopefully you've seen some stuff there that uh, you'd like. Now, let me show you these guys. This is all from here, including these three hard, um, what do you call it, the hard covers. All the way to here is Dragonlance, okay. So let's pull these out. So all of these are Dragonlance. And let me show you these ones. I don't know which, you know, this is volume one, this is volume three, this is volume two, so they might be all uh, appropriately numbered, but let me show you these. Um, and these are written by, they're written by different people. This is Margaret Wise, Margaret Wise. This one is, here's another volume one, so I don't know which one comes first. Uh, and this is Richard knack so let me read you these ones show you these ones richard knack kaz the minotaur heroes two volume one uh, dragons of winter nights margaret weiss tracy uh, margaret wise tracy hickman chronicle trilogy volume two so i'm guessing volume one is here as well Test of the Twins, Volume 3, Margaret Wise, Tracy Hickman. I haven't dialed into the Dragon Last World universe, so. Uh, again, Wise and Hickman, Kinder, Gully Dwarves, and Gnomes. Wise and Hickman. Volume 1, Time of the Twins. Uh, Wise Hickman, Love and War, Volume 3. Love and War. Wise Hickman, Brothers in Arms. Wise, Margaret Wise, and Forward by Hickman. Huh. So I guess this is all wise. Soul Forge, Volume One. Wise and Hickman again. Dragons of Spring Dawning, Chronicles Trilogy. Wise and Hickman, volume two, that was volume three. War of the Twins. So this is probably going with the twin stuff, right? You got volume one there somewhere. And two should be around. Let's check out these ones. Dragonlance again, Wise and Hickman, the second generation.
dragons of summer flame, wise and hickman. Last one is doesn't have the dust jacket. The second generation. So that one, the second generation. I'm going to just two of these. The second generation lies in his head. This is for this. Check out what I found. I gotta check the other ones now too. <laughs> Star Wars, The Last Command. Right. By Timothy Zahn. Volume three. So it must be these ones. So those are the dragon lines. So I'm gonna keep the Star Wars here until I sort it out. Let's put these guys back. Okay, let's hit up the Star Wars. It's gotta be this trilogy. Yeah. show you the Star Wars stuff I have. Uh, volume 1 of the Jedi Academy Trilogy, Star Wars, Jedi Search, Kevin Anderson. There's one. There is uh, The Truth of Star Wars, The Truth of Bakura, Kathy K. Ties. And I believe the person that was recommending uh, the Thawne trilogy would be this. These are, this is the trilogy, I believe. So volume one, hopefully, you know, I might be confused, but uh, The Last Command Star Wars, oh, that's volume three. Here's volume one. Heir to the Empire, maybe not. Timothy Zahn. Star Wars. So that's volume one. Here's volume two. Timothy's on again. Star Wars Dark Force Rising. And this is Timothy Zone again, volume three, The Last Command. Visions of Fantasy Tales from the Masters. Oh, this one I gotta read. Uh, Isaac Asimov and Martin H. Uh, oh, edited by Isaac Asimov and 
uh, Martin H. Greenberg, illustrated by Larry Moore. So, uh, visions of, so I'm assuming these are short stories from different people. I'm just gonna open it up and check it. Yeah, check this out. Who are the writers here? Introduction by Isaac Asimov. Uh, oh, there's an Isaac Asimov story here too. The Fable of the Three Princes, uh, Ray Bradley, uh, Jane Yellen, William Lee. Okay, this looks cool. This might be great reading, short reading. I think I'm gonna put this on the side and put it uh, beside the bed, right? Masterpiece of fantasy and enchantment completed by David G. Hartwell. So this is probably a compilation or a compilation of stuff and essays. Let's check this out. No, somebody's book probably. <laughs> uh, compiled by David, David G. Hartwell with assistance of Catherine Graham. reading on the side eh? maybe it's a table of contents check this out worlds creatures let's, let's read this put this on the side uh, the burning stone Kate Elliott and this one I picked up after watching interviews by uh, Neil Stevenson uh, you know I'd read up on him stuff like this and people said this was worth the read volume one um, of Quicksilver and a friend of mine said that this was uh, a good read he's a co he, he is a coder heavy duty coder so uh, he told me to read this so I picked it up okay heavy read and this is just volume one yikes might be amazing to immerse oneself in, right? But Neil Stevenson, Quicksilver, would be an interesting read, would be an interesting read. Um, so those are all the sci-fi fantasy books I have out. There's a lot of fantasy here um, and some science fiction. Uh, I lean more towards science fiction for sure, but I love fantasy as well as if you just immerse yourself in it. And if it grabs you, it's absolutely brilliant there's nothing else like it again the death gate cycle right um and uh, that's about it if i come across anything else that uh you know that i forgot that i can recommend i will definitely recommend it and if there's anything here um or from the recommendations so far that people have given uh, the book of the new sun uh the thon trilogy i believe it's this one the star wars uh, the name of the wind disc world altered carbon um bio of a space tyrant if any of those or anything that i've shown you you think is a must read is absolutely brilliant or that you really absolutely love um recommend it uh comment and uh i'll take a look at those stuff and uh, i'm definitely going to immerse myself into something one or two or three it's been it's been a while since i've sat down and read some good books i've been mainly focused on comic books i just delve into comic books hardcore so i've been reading a lot of comic books but i think it's time to start you know evening balance and balancing out the life right and start reading some more books again and stuff and um you know that way it's easy to travel with and stuff too right other than graphic novels of course um so that's about it uh, i hope you enjoy it and um uh, happy reading i guess I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.
is on this guy.